In this tutorial, I will share my first experience with the Create Studio 4 AI Shorts Builder. It took me three attempts to finally get my creation right. Let's just say mistakes were made, tears were shed. It is true I made some bad assumptions using the AI Shorts Builder, so I thought I would share my mistakes with our viewers so they would not make the same mistakes. Oh, that gives me an idea for a new tagline. We spend our AI credits, so you don't have to. That is pretty good. How did you think of that? Chad GPT. Well, look at you embracing artificial intelligence. Sure, I made some mistakes, but there was no shedding of tears. Oh, yeah, you cried like a baby who lost his toy. Hey, everyone, keep watching and learn from Randy's mistakes. This is Randy and Patrick with Great Studio 4 Tips. I wanted to build a video to advertise for a nonprofit group that provides a day of water fun for foster care families and families with special needs children. That is really a great thing they do. It really is, and I wanted to use Crates Video AI Shorts Builder to produce a short video tailored to what they do. So, let's get started. On the home screen of Crate Studio, I clicked on the AI Shorts Builder button. On the first panel, I went with Landscape and English. Then I clicked on the button that said, Ready? Let's create your amazing video. The panel that appeared shows that this process has seven steps, with step one highlighted. Wow, look at all those video themes. It is a great selection. So, I have to say, looking at this first step, this is pretty exciting. And look, there is a prompt box to add specific details we would like in the video. For my video, I switched the theme from comedy to kid story, as I wanted a family-friendly feel. For the prompt, I entered special needs families and foster care families enjoying a day at the lake where kids were tubing and skiing behind a ski boat. In steps two through six, Randy selected the voice for the narrator. Background music, Disney Pixar style, caption style, and the avatar for the narrator. When Randy clicked on next for step six, Create Studio went to work using his prompt to build the script. That will take a few seconds. Really, it is pretty quick. For my prompt, it took only five seconds. Okay, now we are at step seven, which is the last step where Create Studio will show what will be said for each scene. The line for scene one returned, once upon a time in a snowy wonderland, families gathered for a day of fun on the water. So clearly the AI focused on the scheme part and created a winter theme, not what I wanted at all. The other lines were great, so I decided to change the wintry wording to a summer theme and rewrote the first line to Once upon a time, in a land of shimmering heat and bright blue skies, families gathered for a day of fun on the water. Okay, so now that the script has a hot summer feel, I am ready to make the short video. I see the creation will cost 60 credits, and I feel that is an acceptable amount to support this tremendous cause. With great anticipation, I click on the Generate button. Let's see how intelligent this AI thing really is. Whoa! That picture does not show the shimmering heat of a summer day. It is a snow scene that is an epic fail! Ah, you're right, Patrick. This is very disappointing. But let's evaluate the rest of the video to see if the whole thing is bad or if we can salvage it. As I play the video, I do like the scaling of the picture and the dust particles. I really like the characters chosen for this picture. Yeah, they're nice, but they are wearing snowsuits, not swimming suits. True, this video is clearly made for snow scenes. The transitions look nice. Sure, but again, the AI completely ignored the change you made about the shimmering heat. Yep, the pictures are clearly made for winter snow skiing. So, what went wrong? Why didn't Create Studio see the script change I made? Well, here's my theory. The pictures and scripts were generated after step six. You can make changes to the script, but those script changes will not change the pictures the AI has already locked in. The bad assumption I made was to assume I could influence the images by changing the script in step seven. I now know that the images are locked in and match the script generated by the AI shorts builder. So for example, if the scene says the boy walking through the jungle of Costa Rica, 
and you decide instead you want to say the boy snow skiing the slopes of Norway, it will not matter what word changes you make in step seven. The AI has already determined the images the project will use. You will end up with the audio saying, "The boy snow skiing the slopes of Norway," but the image will be of a boy walking through a jungle. So here's the tip: if the script is not going in a direction you want, don't spend your credits. Go back to step one and be even more specific in your prompt. I wish we knew that before spending our sixty credits. Oh, that's right. Here at Randy's Tips, we spend our AI credits, so you don't have to. But before creating a more specific prompt, I am curious what Create Studio will do if we provide the same prompt again. Will it produce essentially the same script and therefore video? So Randy entered the same prompt as before in step one, and selected all the same options for steps two through six. Let's see what the script looks like. Well, scene one says it's a sunny day with a sparkling lake. Scene two has adventure on the water. Scene three says there's a big blue ski boat, and scene four has a tube being pulled through glistening water. So this is a different script than before, and it definitely feels like summer. So I'm going to go for it and spend 60 credits to see what Create Studio comes up with this time. Hey everyone, isn't that brave of Randy? But here at Randy's Tips, we spend our AI credits. Okay, Patrick, they got it. All right, let's see what Create Studio produced. The first scene does feel like a summer day at the lake. Let's play it and see what the video looks like. Once upon a sunny day, special needs families and foster care families gathered at the sparkling lake. The children. Were That's、excited. a great picture. A the kids are in water ski vest the and they are having a lot of fun. Some kids hop. Oh no! Oh bother! We are back to having a winter、summer. scene. With a splash. Fail! Fail! Epic! Fail! Okay, settle down, Patrick. Yes, so even though the script did not have any winter wording, the AI interpreted skiing as being a winter activity. Clearly, I need to be very specific in the prop that this is water skiing in the summertime. So this time, what? You are going to try it again? But this last time, I will be very clear in the prop that this is a summer day. With the new, more specific prompt, Randy selected his choices for steps two through six, and here we are at step seven. Hey, look at that! The first line clearly states it is a hot summer day. There should be no confusion now. Randy will generate the video, and let's see just how smart this artificial intelligence really is. It starts off with a scene of a lake, and good news, it's not frozen. The second scene has a lot of boats, but many are canoes. So unfortunately, this will not work for my project. This is a great picture for water skiing. That's a fun image. Many of the images are great, but some don't quite fit the vision I had. Okay, these are nice picnic scenes. I can definitely use those. So, what's your verdict? Are you going to use this video for your water skiing activity? Well, I'm going to swap out the images I did not like for others generated in the previous attempts or from other sources. That sounds super useful. Why don't you show everyone how to do that? Here, I loaded the previous video, and I want to use this picture with the kids in the water vest. At the top left, click on the media icon. In the media folder that opens up, you can see all the pictures generated for the video. I will right mouse click on the one I want and select Copy to Global. This means the picture is now available to any Create Studio project I am working on. Okay, now back to the video we just created. Find the picture you want to replace by moving the playhead along the timeline. Select the picture by mouse clicking on it. In the timeline, you'll see a yellow outline around the photo. Now look at the top left. You have an option to replace the picture with a video or an image. I will select Replace with Image. Here you need to switch to the global folder and select the image that was just placed there. When I click on the image, you can see it replaces the one on the timeline I did not like. Wow, that is a great tip. 
But you should inform our viewers that the images don't need to come from Create Studio. That is right, Patrick. In the media folder, Create Studio has integrated sources where you can import videos or images. Another option is to import images made by other AI sources. I will replace the next image of my video with this one I just imported. It is a great image of kids on an inflatable tube being pulled by a boat. Changing images is super easy, but what about changing the audio part? That is a little bit more complicated, but not too bad. You certainly don't want to go back to step 7 and spend credits if you want to change the audio. For this scene, I replaced a girl on skis with kids being pulled in an inflatable tube. So now I want to change the audio from speech to so it says tube instead of skis. The biggest tip is to use the same AI voice for the retake of the audio clip. First, scrub your playhead through speech 2, recording the words. In my case, I captured and I note some kids were riding on skis gliding over the sparkling water. Now, head to the AI text the speech feature. Click on the musical note icon. On the next panel, click on the word speech. Here I will use the voice Hayden, which is the narrator used in the AI Shorts Builder. Now that the voice is selected, I will copy the text into this box and change the word skis to tube. OK, the next step is to click on the Generate Speech button. Some kids were riding on tube, gliding over the sparkling You can preview water. the result and then import the audio into your project. Open the media folder and search for the newly created audio. It will be at the bottom. Further down. There you go. All we have to do now is delete Speech 2 on the timeline by selecting it and hitting the Delete key. Then drag the new audio into the spot where Speech 2 previously existed. The final step is to regenerate the captions for this new audio track. In the top left, click on the Generate Captions button, select your language, then choose the same style selected in the AI Shorts Builder. It is good to know there is some flexibility to change the output from the AI Shorts Builder. Create Studio does deserve credit for providing a convenient... Ha! Credit! Oh, I see what you did there. As I was saying, Create Studio does make it easy to tweak the output of the AI Shorts Builder. Well, everyone, I hope the mistakes I made will help you as you try Create Studio's AI Shorts Builder. That's it, Patrick. Why don't you sign us off? We spend our AI credit. Not that one. Oh, hey everyone, have a good day and happy creating. <laughs>